Shit! Listen, notepad. I've got you precariously balanced on the edge of my table for no particular reasons. You're just gonna have to work with me and not fall off, okay? Good. I'm, I'm glad that you, you don't understand a word I said because you're a notepad made out of paper. And I'm some form of hideously amalgamated multicellular monstrosity, from your perspective. Okay, Evara, spy mission rewards, level 1 to 15 missions of spying, allegedly give the system, 15 to 25 the chassis, and 25 plus the neuroptics. I'll get the opportunity to see if that still rings true. And I'm gonna go fucking invite him. Susui. Spy mission on Mercury. Oh joy rapture. I made it through that little thingy. Never done that before. bit right here see that scanner bar right there going across that'll detect you even if you are invisible so wait for it to go down like that it hack the thingy Curious, when I do that, do the Grenier know any goddamn thing other than they got pummeled into the ground by a fucking fart from nowhere? Do they know it was the Tenno? Because it doesn't seem that way. time to come through these spy mission um, bits and find out which um, tiles in the tile set had what little areas to go into so that I didn't have to bother running around the entire fucking tile set.
Also, it's far more efficient for me to recoup or top off my energy while moving because I'm already uh, fucking over 600 right now while running through the mission. Funsies. Stealth killer fink and a bonus. I've got hushed invisibility, so I can afford to shoot the living fuck out of things. Auto breach. At this point, I don't even have to worry about getting caught. I could let all the alarms sound and then lock the doors and then go and hack the door consoles open and blah blah blah. I, I could, I really could. Because I've already completed to the spies. But there's no point in doing that. No point in showboating like a jackass. Identified a lith M5 and identified a reflection. What was the other thing that was identified? Yeah, DE, correct me if I'm wrong here, but... It used to be, you you get the all three vaults, you get three things identified, no matter what level of spy mission it was. What the shit? Where's my third identified thing? Yeah, this is fucking bullshit. Only two things were identified? I'm gonna keep going at the same mission. Just to see if the systems for Ivara drops at all. Also, there's the, um... 60, 60, uh, element, uh, stat proc mod cards. Why don't you tell me my browser encountered an error while decoding the video? It's not supposed to be encoded. I need you to get inside the data vaults and retrieve crucial intelligence data. Never mind me, I'm just gonna do these in alphabetized order, just for the fuck's sake and fun of it. get into the higher level spy missions, especially the corpus tile sets, I'll be bothering to use perspicacity. I'd love to be able to move my abilities around while coming out of that. Look. Trolls, stop fucking with me while coming out of that hack. Yeah, 
moving the selector, the little blue highlight glowy bit over whatever ability I want while I'm coming out of that hack. Auto breach. Now, to me, this is um tedious. Fucking jump properly, god damn it. It's only about 4% of the time where I encounter this little glitch where it doesn't register me pushing buttons, no matter what controller I'm using. It's just a, a matter of the system needing to be shut down and put through maintenance for a day. Huh. Three auto breaches in a row. Wow, that's nice. taking is a matter of habit. It's not a matter of optimization, it's just a matter of habit. Well, they saw me that time. Oh yeah, they started the alarm that time. It's way too late to call the alarm in here. Way too late. Okay. DE fucked over spy missions by make it only identify two out of the three items. So you no longer get a third identifiable item. It's just two. I'm not going to say thanks, not even satirically and sarcastically, because DE doesn't deserve to be thanked. I'm, I'm far more likely to say go fuck yourself before I say thanks with sarcasm and satire. Because this isn't the first time that the reward pool has been nerfed. This is more along the lines of like the eighth time. It was only two months ago I wrote down 
every frame alphabetically. That was before... It may have been a little bit more than two months. It was before... Uh, Zaku came out. So my list doesn't include Zaku on it. data vaults and retrieve highly sensitive enemy information but is is the um, is the means by which of uh, getting Avara parts still the same One unidentified item. It'd be nice if I could use my abilities and still maintain being clung to the wall. And activate my, uh, not my ability wheel, it's the uh, equipment wheel while still being latched to the wall. It'd be nice if that were something in the game. It'd be a nice little quality of life increase of, uh, Ease of use and access, basically. Ah, wrong hole. I got lucky that I hit the lip of that and mantled up it. That was actually a luck maneuver instead of a skill maneuver. And I'm not gonna be a jerk or an idiot or a jackass or a fucking pansy ass flying piece of shit and claim that it was a skill based thing. That particular instance was luck. Time to break my habit. I've got a ton of invisibility. I can just jump right over it and save about three or four seconds. Did I kill that one from here by foot massaging him to death with my own feet? <sighs> no longer giving third identified item. Seriously? Metal auger? Nah, could be worse. I could have identified 15 endo. 
I have no idea how many times I'm going to re-roll this exact same mission just to discover it's not going to drop an Ivar apart. Join me for the rest of the stupidity and laugh when I finally realize how stupid it has been. After burp. Mmm, tastes like chocolate. and retrieve crucial intelligence data. Is there any way I can turn off that speech thingy popping up? I mean, just straight up turn it off. I know there's a volume slider, but I just want to turn the pop-up off altogether. Same as seeing Ordis on screen when I've got him muted. Because I want to see what calcs or bile or whatever is necessary to feed my Gary instead of seeing Ortis pop up on my fucking screen. They didn't see me then. They're not going to see me next time I do that. Hold on, I want to try something. It used to reset your location, like respawn you onto the map, on the map, when you get down there. Well, they finally fixed it to where you can jump back up, because all that's solid stuff. We've got signals singing the same song as our victim. Careful now. I don't care, Nora. Just please Whatever fuck right off. Become, there's no going back. Is there a way I can turn this bitch off, like what she does, and bringing in the fucking extra shit she brings in? Can I just turn that the fuck off so I can focus on playing the fucking game? Because right now... I don't want to fucking deal with Nora and her Nightwave nigger bullshit. I don't want to fucking deal with it. I have an objective in mind that I want to accomplish, and she's not a goddamn part of it. Oh. 
In this regard, alerts were fucking better. that little gap without using the zip line. One, two, three. Finally, three fucking items identified. If it's a glitch, DE, you need to take the game offline for about 48 hours and run some serious maintenance, defragmentation, and re-editing of some of the game's code files. Yes, I know, that's a complete bitch and a half to deal with, but it necessarily must be done. Players, including myself, patience is required. <clears throat> identified Lith C6, identified a horny striker, identified a para, Perry the platypus. Why not? Was that the fourth time I've done that mission? Might as well keep going. Hear that? I've got some Taka. I didn't purchase it. Someone else purchased it for me. It's some... Quadruple distilled vodka. Vodka with natural flavor. Refreshingly smooth. That's bullshit. All alcoholic beverages are refreshing, yet not smooth. Because the sting of the alcohol cuts through your taste buds. Hang on. No, Tenno, don't hop up on the ledge. Keep in mind, you, you do not have to follow my exact path through these spy missions. I'm just doing that out of force of habit. Now, if you would like to watch someone meander through and show you uh, how to get through every spy tile set for every faction, yada yada yada. I don't mind doing it. For there is no excuse for it. And I don't want it to be excused. It was intentional. I missed my mark. I'm not that drunk. I just didn't pay attention. I've only just started drinking. And it takes about 15 minutes at most. 30 minutes. For an alcoholic beverage to impair your motor function. Provided you have no biological 
biochemical, as it's sometimes referred to, resistance or immunity, or tolerance, as it's commonly referred to by the drinking community. However, I am slightly inebriated. Totally missed my mark. And again. Okay. Um. This way. Let myself do the non-invisible bit so I can see where the fuck I was for a second. D, don't misinterpret that as me complaining about my Loki being too invisible. That is by far away from and the complete opposite of the truth of the matter. If I were to pay attention, I could memorize the position of the camera relative to my character's in-game model. It wouldn't be that difficult. In fact, I'm doing it while I'm soliloquously dissertating this nonsensical syntax for you right now. Bazinga. See, there's a very subtle difference between the way I say it and the way that um, I forgot the actor's name. I'm trying to remember. Give me a few minutes here. No, Brain, it was not Vern Troyer. Fuck off! I know you like Austin Powers. Fuck off! Hey, check it out. Low level, identified Vicious Frost. 6060, after it's fully upgraded. Well, 1515 when it's a uh, baseline. Give me just a moment. I'll be back. And I am back. You know you're getting old when you can't remember things that interested you and captivated your attention and that you actually give a fuck for remembering. That's when you know you're getting old. You know what? Since I can't remember the actor's name, I'll just go with his in-game, not in-game, in-show character's name. Sheldon Cooper. I know, like, five minutes is an insane eternity to ask all of you ADD, ADHD morons to wait when you have no attention span. It's an eternity to ask you to wait. To break into enemy data vaults and steal Imagine how I feel. I'm the one who was trying to remember. Never mind that. I'm quasi practicing for something. I'm 
getting decent at it. Okay, I made it, but not the way I wanted to make it. Still, it's better than nothing. I almost got stuck for a second. Hmm. Neat. Stealth kill affinity bonus. Why the fuck not? I can afford it. Stocky! Aww. How adorable. You think you can defeat me? <laughs> No, that's a word, not a sentence. Death is just a word, mate. I have... I have defeated you, stocky boy. That's what I've done. That's adorable. He thinks he can defeat me. If you can take those drones out in one shot, it's only on the lower level missions. My advice is go ahead and do it. If you've got uh, over 2,000 damage worth on a single shot, go ahead and take it out. If not, or if you're not confident enough, don't bother. Don't worry about it. So far, I'm only noticing uh, one or two of the unidentified item pop-ups. I'm going to have to take a moment to actually devote the time and attention to noticing if all three show up. That would be beneficial for me right now. Only retrieve two identified items, Master Key and Lith M5 Relic. 
Why does it appear that it's random if I get the third unidentified item identified? Why does why is it like that? I was undetected in all of them. I know that for an absolute. If this is a bug or a glitch where it's not giving me all three identifiable items, I'm not going to take back being a jackass to DE about it. You want my kindness? Earn it. Humanity system of one mistake equals you're branded for life. Well, I'm just returning that right back to you. You don't like it? Tough shit. Stop being a bitch. Judge people holistically on the content of their character instead of the one fucking mistake they make. That goes quintuply especially for you, America. And the United States federally corrupt government of bitches. I need you to get any data vaults and retrieve That soliloquous dissertation of nonsensical bullshit brought to you by me being bored and just wanting to fill the gap of quiet with something to say. And by viewers like you. Who are continuing to watch this nonsensical bullshit, even though it's pointless. Thank you for wasting your time. You must have no life. Ooh, piece of candy. Unidentified item. That would be the first of three possible. Okay, I don't want to get door stuck. Well, that was pleasant for me. I didn't fall off the map. For a second, I was worried I might. I'm not sorry, Grenier. You're kind of in my way. I mean, I could have aimed to the further left of you, but I chose not to, and I chose to hit you. I'm not sorry. Second unidentified item. Whoops. Pressed right on the D pad one too many times. Yes, I slightly micro panicked by about point two five seconds worth. That's all it takes to press the button one extra time than is needed. All these ledges have lips on them.
Well, that has a bottom. I can get up from that. It doesn't need a soft reset boundary. I mean, granted, there's people who are gonna be like, Durr, how the fuck do I get out of here? I used to be amongst those retards at one point. But then I discovered how to fucking bullet jump! I should have paid extra attention to that third to see if it gave the unidentified item. Didn't pay attention. Apparently, I didn't get it. What the actual fuck? Why is that RNG now? Why the hell is uh, the third identifiable item a goddamn random drop? Okay, everyone. Since it's a fucking random drop, if you get the third identifiable item, if you don't need Avar parts or the fucking uh, 6060 mods, and you're just doing it to get through it. Just do the fucking two vaults and who the fuck cares about the third. So far this is enough testing data to discern that it is most likely RNG. Without digging into the game's code and looking for yourself. At this point, with how shit the gaming industry is just, you know, uh, piling on bullshit on top of bullshit, like EA's patented player stress events, yeah, I'm thoroughly endorsing it. If, if you can hack, and you can do it undetected, fuck it. Go into the game's files. See for yourself what's what. Tenno, At this point, the industry deserves it. And retrieve crucial intelligence data. Uh, that little shaking side to side, that was my character spinning wildly like a top because of the, um, the stagger effect. We've got signals singing the same song as our victim. Careful now. One identified item. There's less than nothing left of who they once were. Nigger, Nightwave, Nora, I don't fucking care. Please fuck right off. I'm after parts for Ivara so I can throw it into the Wall of Flesh, otherwise known as Gary. I don't give a fuck about you right now, bitch. Just fuck off. And there go the alarms because nigger Nora's got to intervene and be a fucking piece of shit cunt. I know I'm just one player of the game, but my thoughts on the matter represent a significant portion of people playing the game.
when dealing with percentages, a small number can seem innocuous, but when that small number represents so many out of literally billions of people, it's definitely worth giving a fuck about. Because if it were 10 billion people, it would be, what, a hundred thousand? Maybe even a million? That that 1% would represent? Or 10%? My math is, uh, ambiguous at best right now. Because I'm not giving a fuck to do the calculations. Unidentified item. The fuck? There, now I'm out. Ah, it is possible at incredibly low-level missions. Ivara Systems. Okay, that's nice. Level 1 to 15 for the systems. Now on to the Neuroptics. Level 15 to 25. It's 9 to 11. Yeah. Magnesidium. The assassination of Lephantis on fucking... Still path. I did that solo. It was a bitch. And I still haven't finished the Zeloid Prelate. <clears throat> it was a bitch. Especially since, you know, after all the YouTubers finished it, who DE gives a fuck about, they increase the difficulty. By making uh, the meta of fucking Slash and uh, Viral do half the fucking damage it used to. Uh, no, I'm not ready for that just yet. No, oh, no, no, I don't want to go into the Kufa Fortress just yet. 12 to 14. So, Jupiter. Sass grenade. It's been... How long has it been since I've done spy missions for a particular purpose? But it's been several months at the minimum. 17 to 19. So, minimum of 15 to get the chassis. Chassis. However you want to pronounce it. <coughs> 
when I'm screwing around with um Shin, it's the chastity belt. And in the never ending story, it's the belt of invisibility. But here in the game, it's a Loki that's the invisible thing. And yes, that was a train of logic, of thought process in my mind, linking similar things together to get to a point that is completely irrelevant to the initial point made. Your mission is to break into enemy data vaults and steal any intelligence files you find. I really should destroy those damn things. Just because I thought you may have seen me, I'm gonna kill all of you in this room. Just to be absolutely sure that none of you see me. This is new. I've never done this since they updated it. This is a whole new experience. Fuck yeah. Okay, I'm gonna kill you just to get rid of you. Shit, I don't want to go over there. did it exactly the way I wanted to You know what? I made that look easy. And right now, I am significantly inebriated. Well, it's not fair to everyone else that I can function better than myself normally when I'm inebriated. That's just a skill that you develop over time. Through extreme focus and over-concentration. It's very difficult to develop, but I did it. Fuck off, laser grid! Well, 
Isn't this just nice? It wasn't intimidating or daunting, it was just me not paying attention. Yay, I saved it. Okay, yeah, that can be made in one jump. <clears throat> if you angle it appropriately. And then this fucking laser wall of spinningness is just a patience game. And... It's either, you know, grab a limbo and go into your pocket dimension. Or just do it as a patience game. I'm not going to give any advice on that one. Because either one works. Because those are the ones I've tested and know. Everyone in this tile dies. Everyone in this room dies. Fuck you. You were in this room previously. Okay. Uh-huh. Yes, I see, said the blind man. There's buttons and switches that do things. Fire's meant to look intimidating, apparently. It's not intimidating me. I'm too drunk to give a shit. That is intimidating to me. Even though I managed to get through it, that was intimidating. Those laser walls moving back and forth. That shit actually fucks with my head. That intimidates me. In the game. I would say he saw someone who was invisible backhand the hell out of him into nothingness, but he didn't see a damn thing except for everyone else around him and then himself die. So it would be highly illogical in every sense of the word to proclaim he saw someone who was invisible kill him. Identified piercing hit, scattering inferno, and reflex coil. Even though I fucked up, I identified one of them on the ones that I fucked up and it had a countdown timer. Apparently, the third identifiable is fucking RNG.
Project Melody is on. Oh, Joy Rapture. Oh, wait. Call Me Kevin is on, playing Phasmophobia. Good for you. God damn it, Kevin. Holy shit. Tog is on too. When I started streamer and he was offline. <clears throat> Where the fuck was I doing the spy mission? <clears throat> uh, Amalthea. Amalthea. Let's see. A goes ah. Unless it's followed by an E at the end of a word, in which case the E becomes silent, making it say its name. So, Amalthea. Because E going E eh, and the E-A going E. So, Amalthea. Now, if they placed an E on the end of it after the A, it would become really fucking confusing, even to me. Because American English is the most difficult fucking language I have ever had the misfortune of experiencing. There's so many fucking errors in the syntax structure and everything that it pisses me off. And I started noticing this when I was in high school studying English with a, a teacher whose name was Priscilla Columns. I started noticing the little errors in syntax and spelling in the American English language and how its rules of engagement were complete Hello. bullshit. Inside <clears throat> enemy data vaults and retrieve crucial intelligence data. After a while, I just said, you know what, fuck it. Who, who the fuck cares? They're not going to change their language and fix it. Just like they're not going to change their so-called laws and fix the broken ones. But that's, that's a topic for a completely other discussion. Did any of these jackasses see me? No, I was completely behind them the whole time. It flashed available for a microsecond of a time. So I could come all the way over here instead of uh, switch teleporting. And press that button. And have a, uh, a fucking thingy. Oh, it shut the fucking doors. Oh, son of a bitch. What? Fuck it. I'm just gonna lose A, because I'll deal with that shit next time. Salad Five, or Salad Face, or Thousand Island Dressing. I don't care what you want to be called at this point. Shut the fuck up, dude! Got it. Did it. These things are easy. I'm just getting impatient and making poor decisions.
Your amalgams can't be introduced to me if they can't see me, jackass. Didn't I just go through one of these tiles? Yes, yes I did. Oh, how adorable! The stocky fuck wants to play! Um, no, dude, I'm not trying to run from my past. Yeah, yeah, go fuck yourself, stocky bitch. Stop making me visible! Jackass, get back here, I'll kill you I'll kill you, I'll fucking kill you. You just got lucky as all. And, and I got careless. Both! But come back, I'll fuck you up. Wait, what the fuck is... Why the fuck do those have a button near them when I don't even need to press the button? <sighs> okay, that's less daunting and... And, uh, after I know the pattern, it's just, you know, it's like, okay. It's new. I like how it's new. There's glass resonance in your neighborhood. It offers the opportunity to jump through multiple areas of the Whatever little... Whatever these cephalites have become, there's no going back. Laser wall grid thingy. Nora, fuck off, you fucking whore. I don't want nothing to do with you. I told you, this isn't a dating opportunity. Fuck off. I'm not interested. I don't want to date you, Nora. Fuck off, clingy bitch. that the fucking third item identifiable in, in spy missions is fucking RNG. I'm gonna on purpose get detected and complete every fucking A, B, and C that I encounter possible. Just to be a thundering cunt about it. Because I fucking can. And that's my attitude towards it. And it's my shtick. So everyone else fuck off. Get your own shtick. Next time I do a bunch of spy missions, I'm gonna do the highest mission in the bracket. Just because I want to confirm whether or not doing the lowest or the highest mission in the bracket gives you the Avara part quicker or slower. Technically, I want to either confirm or deny that that's a possibility. And I'll do that later. I think I'll do it with Shin when we get him. Yeah, me and him, we. We get him into the, the thingy to do the stuff. Tenno, I need you to get inside enemy data vaults and retrieve crucial intelligence data. Oh, I didn't mean to go straight up right there.
Can I scan it? I'd love to be able to scan it right here in this particular tile of the tile set. DE, would, would you mind with that? Hey! I didn't double jump, you fucking whore! You fucking piece of shit! See there? It didn't listen to my input. Okay, now in this one, I can place down switch teleport with it. And I can kill this jackass. Come over here. Do this. You know what? Fuck it. I'll switch teleport with that jackass. Or not. You know, I'll just totally fuck up what I'm trying to do here. I don't mind fucking up what I'm trying to do. I mean, I haven't sounded the alarms just yet, so it's of no consequence that I fucked up. Okay. Unidentified item. Mm -hmm. With the alarm sounded. With the countdown timer engaged. With me being fucking drunk. It's looking more and more conclusive that the fucking third thing being an unidentified item dropping for you is Aryan fucking G. Which is a bitch slap, dick slap to the face of everyone playing the game. Unidentified item. With me being detected and everything. Seriously. D.E., get your fucking shit together, dude. I'm picking your bullshit the fuck apart right now. That third item being fucking RNG. All that is is a fucking fuck you to every one of us who play the game. It's not a reward, a gain for effort. It's a fuck you. It's a grind because we want fucking money. That's, that's the message it sends. Whether you intend it to or not. And if you think that's a negative slant... You're absolutely fucking wrong. That's the abject truth of the matter, D.E. You fucking what? Excuse you, 
How fucking dare you kick me out of my own party? Did I have my microphone muted the whole goddamn time? I could go this way and do what? Uh-huh. Looks like secret area space to me. Eh, definitely. Okay, detected. Do I get the extra fucking item on this one? Yeah. I was detected and got all three of the unidentified items. Look, you nully bitch! Fuck off! Anyway, for anyone who missed it, Enough alarms and you have to kill everything in the game. Good for me. Uh. Hiccups. Oh look, a cold room on the left hand side from when you enter spy missions at stealth anymore is that you make it less difficult on yourself and you lower the probability that you'll have to kill every goddamn thing in the mission. As of now, that's the only fucking benefit to running stealth missions stealthfully, aka spy missions. Because I have conclusively proved that the fucking RNG of getting the third item, the unidentified item drop, is fucking RNG instead of based on getting the fucking vault cracked. D changed it to being RNG. The only benefit to running the spy missions with pure stealth is simply to make it easier on yourself, not to get the extra third unidentifiable item. Identified Mezzo E4, identified Horny Striker, and identified Vitality. With me being detected all three fucking times! DE made it fucking RNG whether or not you get the third unidentified item. That is a bitch of a dick slap in the face of everyone playing the game. <clears throat> now, to prove that I'm not just putting a quote unquote and I know you can't see this but I'm using Dr. Evil style quotation fingers negative slant on a fucking video and what I'm saying here's a fucking solution go back to the way it was where you open the vault completely undetected and you get 
the unidentified items, all three of them, instead of it being random drop. Because having it random drop makes it pointless to play the game as the mechanics of the level and the type of mission indicate that it needs to be played as. Point in case, it's a spy mission. Additional supporting evidence. It's meant to be played stealthily. You should reward the effort that players put into it by giving them more for accomplishing that mission as stealthily as possible. In addition to that, if you'd like, DE, I'll make a fucking video outlining stealth mechanics and how to implement them to create a varied and staggered level of difficulty that slowly increases so that at the beginning it's just an introductory this is how to play the mission type get used to the base level mechanics at level such and such it increases again saying this is more difficult now you have to learn this extra mechanic in the stealth segment of this game etc etc for example, you could simply, at the very bare minimum basics, have it set to where enemies have a pattern that they patrol. A patrol loop, if you will. And their perception is set to basically just in a conic dispersal radius in front of them. And they don't notice you until you're within that radius. How the fuck did I get detected? No, seriously. Also, in this particular tile of the spy missions, I've already noticed, this is the second time I've noticed, it shuts off both these uh, other wings or doors, if you will, when you're detected. Amalgams! Hybrid life forms! How familiar concept to you! Is it not betrayers? Hmm. Whoops, I totally fucked up A. For the very first time in this ex exemplarily new tile set, I learned how that particular tile I was in, that tile, how that one works. And I learned extra features it had on top of how it works the second time. And this third time, I noticed and then said some things that I'd already noticed before. So anyway, spy missions is basically down to two and done. No point in doing the third anymore because it's fucking random. <coughs> Why bother? Why bother doing a spy mission perfectly when you're not going to be rewarded for doing it perfectly? When you're not going to be given a gain for your effort put in? When you're not going to be rewarded for accomplishing a level of skill? Why the fuck do it with that level of skill when you're not rewarded for it? That's the point, D.E. Whether you like it or not, the message you're sending everyone with this RNG shit is we don't care. Go fuck yourselves.
So at this point, spy missions, it doesn't matter if you do them undetected or not. The only thing that matters is that you get the data retrieved. So, at this point, doing it with Loki or any other stealth frame, it doesn't fucking matter. It just makes it superfluous, stupid, redundant, retarded, moronic to even attempt to do it perfectly. Just makes me look like an elitist asshole doing it with Loki right now. Is that the message that you, DE, want to send every player? Is it? Because that's the message you're sending with what you're doing. That's what your actions are saying. And as we all know, the old axiom, a picture's worth a thousand words, and actions speak louder than words. And this right here, this is a video. It's worth, I don't know, however many frames or pictures per second you can put into it. So it's worth quintillions of words, theoretically. Infinite words, theoretically. So the message you're sending everyone is, don't play the game like you have skill. We don't care about your skill. All we care about is that you just fucking do the RNG. We don't care about your skill. Fuck your skill. And that DE, that's why you're losing players. That's why the veterans are leaving. Well, it's not the only reason. It's not the biggest reason. It's just the newest reason. If you don't like that truth, if you think that's a negative slant, then go fucking kill yourself. I've already confirmed that these spy missions it's just fucking RNG based now. There's no point in trying to do it with skill. It used to be fun to challenge myself to do it with skill so that I could get all three of the unidentified items, but since it's RNG, fuck it. Why the hell care? Why the fuck give a shit? It doesn't matter. Why the fuck care? This mindset of let's put RNG on everything, let's put a fucking algorithm on everything, let's automate every fucking thing, this mindset of automation and RNG, all it does is drive people away from your industry, away from your business, away from your game, away from giving a fuck about you as a fucking person. Is that the message you want to send everyone? DE, think about it. Microsoft, I know you're fucking having something to do with this bullshit. Think about it, you fucking morons. Do you want to drive people away from purchasing microtransactions in your games because it's fucking pointless to give a shit? And on that note, on that soliloquous dissertation to the industry, holistically, I'm ending this stream recording. <clears throat> like it or dislike it when it hits YouTube, I don't fucking care which. And for those of you who like me questioning the, the so-called status quo and throwing a, a sabo into the machinery, the cogs and gears of automation and asking people, are you men or mice? Philosophically, 
with these questions I'm asking. For those of you who appreciate that, there's links on the YouTube videos to support what I do. So basically, I'm, I'm just going to be getting incredibly drunk with the, the money you give me and doing more dumb shit in games. Till next time, everyone.